Uh, maybe I am Dave, and maybe we are Access Rock, and maybe we are at Sweden Rock Festival. But maybe. very shortly we are talking to Peter Tactrium, and uh, you are playing today with uh, Hypocrisy. Yes, that's what they say. That's I don't what know. they say. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Looking forward to it. You are on uh, pretty late. Yeah, we have a. Uh, uh, Europe opening up for us, I guess. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so, so I guess they have to play. You know, no, no, no. We play at the same time as them, but I, I don't think it's going to be any conflicts between the fans. So, it shouldn't be. No, I think it's gonna it's gonna be really good. Of course, you will yeah. have a full crowd. Yep. As always. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but really, uh, your latest record, End of Disclosure, yeah. has gone extremely well in Sweden. Yeah, yeah, it's really weird. <laughs> weird? No, but I mean, you know, <laughs> I mean, yeah, why now? What about 20 years ago? <laughs> or, maybe, ma- or, or maybe we figure out how to make good songs. I don't know, but it's we're really happy and pleased about it. So we're not complaining, that's for no, sure. Of course yeah, not. Yeah. Um, is there anything you kind of would have done different on that album? Not really. Isn't I mean, maybe end? maybe some mixing stuff, but that's more nerdy shit, okay. you know. So, more but, but uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I had uh, I was already one month late uh, over um, the deadline for <clears throat> giving them the, the the master, so I didn't want to fuck around anymore because they were kind of pissed. So, okay, because you know, since uh, the record company has so many uh, releases all the time, you know, and if one fucks it up, that that way everything becomes it becomes a domino effect so like a shift and, yeah and then you know if you miss your window it's maybe you have to wait for another half year and we already had the tour book so i had to make it so okay yeah but the songs i'm happy with so is it m- it should be more difficult to kind of do the entire thing is it like you sit up at night and just no it's not finished no i have to do this and how, yeah. how hard is it? Yeah, it's it's really fucked up because, you know, you get anxiety, you know, like, it, I guess it's like a kid leaving his wound, you know, kind of. So uh, it's always like you think, is it good enough now or not? And it's like, no. And then you start fucking around again and it's like, oh shit, maybe now it got worse. And so you can just bounce like that back and forth till you go. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how I am, you know, and I, I really, I'm really picky, I guess, you know, so and that makes it even worse. So. Mm. Because you do have a lot of things. Uh, I just read that you are kind of like a, a little angel of death watching over, for example, uh, Children of Bodom's latest yeah. record, uh, Halo yeah. Blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I went over there and helped Alexei with the vocals for, for the album and uh, some keyboard stuff. So it's, um, yeah, it's great. I mean, we're really good friends. Not not only, you know, when it comes to recording or touring or anything, you know, we, we actually, spend time together okay. w- when we're not doing anything and uh, also uh, calling or texting each other you know so we're good we're brothers that's for sure you know and pretty much the same stupid humor and <laughs> both like to drink a lot you know well now he has to take it easy so uh, then I try to take it easy when we spend time together so you, know, you don't that, overcompensate <laughs> yeah you know it's like Lemmy and Ossie getting together <laughs> you know it's not good just trying to knit or something. Yeah, yeah. Watch Seinfeld and eat popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> You're up with uh, both hypocrisy and pain. Yeah. This summer again. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> uh, well, it's kind of stressy, you know, because now uh, I had to back uh, two backlines for two bands because tomorrow morning, well, actually after we played, we go to the airport pretty much afterwards, maybe a few hours later, and. Um, have to fly to uh, Ukraine with pain, so then okay. I have to bring all that stuff, and um, yeah, and then I have to uh, remember 20 more songs. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> it's just going. But um, do you mix work. them up? No, no, I have would never. No, 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 I would never mix them. I, I, I get some kind of different state of mind when I'm doing hypocrisy than I do pain, so that's no problem. But sometimes it's like, oh. How did that song go? Oh, uh, what the fuck, you know? <laughs> but still, you do it with yeah, fans. Yeah, 40 different songs in two days, so it's like, 
I feel like a cover band. <laughs> no. <laughs> you yeah. feel like an entire cover band. <laughs> yeah, no, but I mean, you know, the cover bands, they, they play so many songs that I don't understand how they can remember it, you know? So. Some people should do this. Yeah. So, um, how's private life? How do you cope with this? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I've been married three times, so. Oh. It's more how do people cope with me, you know? So. Really? Yeah, I guess. You know, it's it's not easy. So. Okay. That's how it is. Cool, cool. Um, have you uh, kind of? Uh, I know you have a son. Have you transcended this? To my son? Yeah. What being is difficult? <laughs> yeah, being difficult. Mean? Yeah, being no, difficult. No, no. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he's totally the opposite of me. Uh, I mean, he's calm, he's concentrated, he's a smart guy, you know, uh, but he's a really good drummer, so uh, he's got his own band and stuff, you know, so that's really good, you know. What are they called? You should promote Infestation. Infestation. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, I was actually a drum roadie for him a couple of weeks ago. Really? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Pretty cool. You must be the coolest dad then. Uh, I don't know. No? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know... Uh, to a certain extent, I, I guess, but uh, no. But I mean, I tried to give him something that I didn't, I couldn't get when I was a kid, you know. So uh, really try to uh, make his life easier, you know. Okay. If you had to choose festival or your own gigs, I mean, both things are are fun, you know. Um, it's you know festivals. I, I mean, uh, I could never go here a day before or stay another day and stuff like that because that would end up in total chaos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's really great, you know, to uh, hang around with people and talk shit and uh, meet up with other bands that you haven't seen for a while and, and shit like that. Uh, now we're playing on a little smaller stage, so that's really cool because usually when you stand on a big stage, your hair is flying in the wind and then you try to do a head spins and it doesn't work and, <laughs> and the crowd is so far away. Yeah, way. the crowd is so far away, you can't really get this connection, you know. Mm. Uh, so, I mean, that's the negative, negative part, you know. and. Um, you know, playing clubs and small arenas, uh, you know, it's it's really cool because it gets more ten, intense. But on the other hand, during the day, it's boring instead. Mm. You know? So, True. so it's right. give and a take, you know. Uh, what do you listen to at the moment? I don't know. Uh, a lot of Hurricanes, AC/DC, uh, a lot of rockabilly stuff. You know, like old shit and. Um, Things you wouldn't imagine you listen to. Oh, I listen, listen to a lot to of things music. that people were gonna go like, what? Like Shania <laughs> Twain and stuff like that, you know. Um, I try to listen to all kinds of stuff, you know. What I, what doesn't kill you makes makes it more, you know, interesting in your brain, you know. And I guess, you know, it opens up more stuff than just to go one way street, you know. So, but I've always ever, been like that. Have you ever kind of uh, thought about doing something completely different, like a completely different band? I don't have time, but it would be cool to play some blues and stuff like that, you know. Uh, I'm not good at it, but it would be cool if I sit down and try to learn it, I will learn it, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of shit that I would like to do, but I, I, as soon as I start thinking about it, I've started stressing out. It's like, nice, <laughs> you know, so... We'll see, maybe some someday, but I, for me now, it's just pain and hypocrisy, you know. It's better um, to do less stuff good mixing than... Mixing and producing, yeah. Um, yeah. Just being... Yeah. Doing everything. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I learned that you don't have to do everything, you know. But it took 42 years. True, true. Yeah. Do you have kind of a secret talent of some sort? Can't tell you. Anything? No. <laughs> Maybe there's kids watching this, you know. Just Can't tell. By the way... <clears throat> Amplified medborgskolan who has uh, the, the festival Gamrocken yeah. that you are playing at. Yeah, my hometown. Yeah, yeah. August. Yeah, so that's cool. Yeah. You know, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, I hope they can get something good going. You know, that that it grows a little bit more. Mm. You know, because they used to have like a, in the 80s a really big festival. Mm. You know, like three, four, five thousand people. You know. Uh, but that just went down the toilets in the 90s, and nowadays they don't do it anymore. So it's cool that they started doing it again, you know. So we said it's a lot of cool black and death metal bands. Yeah, all right? kinds of stuff. We said we'll help you, you know. We we do it for free. Just get the money and invest it for next year for other bands and stuff like that. So we just do it to try to help to get something going, you know. That's right. Yeah. Very cool.
Hope to see you there then. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Hi, this is Peter Tekkerin from Hypocrisy and Pain, and you're watching and listening and blah, blah, blah to Excess Rock. <laughs>